Today, the presentation will be on e-cards and gift cards. I will try to go slow because last time I, I went way too fast. What is an e-card? An e-card is essentially just a digital version of a greeting card, but in this case, you have control over everything the e-card says and how it looks. You're, you're the author of the e-card. So you can have it say, Merry Christmas, you're getting nothing because you're going to be mad, or you can have it say something nice. It's just all up to you and whatever you want, want it to say or the message you want to, to relate to everybody. So the, the one on the right, the, the happy birthday to you is the one I made, and it took me like five minutes to make this. What is a gift card and what's the difference? A gift card is, is a prepaid card that can be used for one specific store or um, you can buy a, a Visa prepaid one, which is essentially just a, a, a debit card with a limited amount of um, money on it. So after after you use all the money up on the, on the Visa card, you will not be able to use it anymore unless it's reloadable. And the, the amounts that you can put on the Visa card are from 20 to 500, but like I said, there's some that are, that are reloadable. How to make an e-card. The easiest way to make an e-card is through Canva, which is the, um, is, which is the website we use to make um, most of our posters and flyers. And once you, once you get to this, we're gonna start this presentation with you and you can click this link and press start designing on, on an e-card on Canva. And then it will, it will pop up a multitude of templates you can use. You can search up the templates you want. So for example, right here it says Christmas, Thanksgiving, birthday, and you can actually search up any kind of canvas and they have so many. You can search up um, doctor's note or something like that and any anything would pop up or like something similar that they have to that. And clicking on one of the templates would, would, uh, would make it uh, appear on the main editing page and you can edit anything that's on there, anything. You can click the, the pictures and delete one and add one of your own. You can um, rewrite what everything says. It's just up to you on, on what you want it to say. I'm sorry. Everything is customizable on the, on the page, everything. From how big the font is, what font size it is, the pictures on there, the, the title, the titles, anything, anything. You can just put anything on there. Sharing it is, is easy too. You can share it on social media. You can um, copy the link and share it to your friends that way via email. Um, you can print it. It's it's all up to you. And it should it should have a, a sharing button on the top right. And clicking it would, would uh, make this um this appear. And right there where it says so, share on social media, download, print your design, is are all the ways you can present the the e card. Buying gift cards can be bought in on stores like Amazon or the specific store you want the gift card for. So for example, Target, um, Walmart, Wingstop. It's just, I I prefer, I would prefer a general, like a, a, a prepaid visa, cause you can use it on whatever store you'd like. And it's not, it doesn't really tie you down to to any store. <clears throat> so the, the, the person you're giving the gift card to really has control over what kind of gift they, or what kind of purchase they make with the gift card, with the prepaid visa. Redeeming and gifting gift cards. Gift cards usually come with a physical card or a long code sent to your email. With this, you can spend the, the gift card at the either the physical locations or online. And most of the time at checkout, there would be a, a redeem a payment option that says gift cards. And once you receive a gift card, you add the you can add it to your account or you can have the, the code on file. And right here, like it says, gift card number, you just enter it in the back. It should be a PIN number, like like a CCV number, just but for the gift card. And applying it would add it to your, your balance, and you can buy stuff with that balance. How to check gift card balances. This one's a little tricky because every every store is different. But 99% of the time, just looking up the, the, the store you bought it for, or for this example, Visa gift card, all you have to do is put, Visa gift card or Walmart gift card, and then followed by balance. And it should give you a way to, to look up um, the balance. Most of the time, the link will just have you submit the, the number that it gave you. And it should get, it should tell you um, how, what the balance is on the gift card. 
and safety buying gift cards is is good but um it's better to buy them safely give their great gift cards are a great gift if you're unsure what to buy the person and they're a nice little detail but knowing how to buy them is just as important Always buy gift cards from reputable, reputable sites and stores. When buying gift cards in store, always make sure the numbers have not been scratched off because a lot of the times people scratch the numbers off and then just take a picture of it and you they can use it like that, but they won't be able to use it until someone scans the gift card. Amazon is a great way to buy the gift cards as um they most of them, most of the gift cards that Amazon sells are digital. So you'd get the gift cards delivered to you to your email uh, within minutes. And buying the gift cards from stores directly, such as McDonald's, Walmart, is also reliable. But you just have to ask for the gift cards. Buying buying gift cards online will almost always give you um, a gift card code. Like right here on the right, it says gift card code at the bottom. Um, you will get them. You get them sent to you to your email almost immediately, if not like within a few minutes. Or you can opt to buy them. Um, Physically, and, and you'll get sent an, uh, a physical gift card, but it would take longer to receive. Gift card tips. You always always check the expiration date if it has one, because some gift cards do, and you do not want to waste your money. So, And you should also let, let the person know, the person that is being gifted a gift card, when it expires, so they know like when to spend the money by, or else the money just goes to waste, like the gift card expires and you can't you can't use it anymore. Also, you should keep track of, of your balance. If you if you use the, the gift card in stores and you get a receipt, the receipt almost always has your balance or your balance um, on the gift card at the bottom. So what I like to do is when I use a gift card or when I get a gift card and I use it, I would wrap the receipt around the gift card and just store it in my wallet or wherever I store it. And whenever I, I'm unsure of, of how much is on that physical gift card and I don't want to go check up like online, you could just check the receipt and on the bottom it should say your, your remaining balance. You can also combine the two, which is what I did here, and make um, the ultimate gift card and e-card. So right here for, for the birthday, for someone's birthday, you can give them an e-card and on the, the e-card you can add the the pin or the, the account, the gift card number to it. And you it's kind of like the best of both worlds. Right here it says, happy birthday, wish you all the best. And here's the X amount of money gift card. And then the pin, and then we love you. And that is the whole presentation. Does anybody have any questions? Did you say you can get a Visa gift card? Yes, right here. I could show you. How does that work? Um, on Amazon, okay. there would there should be options on Visa prepaid gift cards, which is just like a debit card essentially, but just with um a specified amount of money. Okay. And the money the the money could it ranges from like ten dollars to five hundred dollars, but I've seen some with a lot of money on them. But yeah, those are just regular like prepaid debit cards essentially. Hmm. Because that gives you option to spend anywhere of that, right? Yeah, yeah. You can you can use the gift card on wherever you want, or yeah. wherever the person wants, instead yeah, of just tying them down. Yeah, to like one store. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Don't some of your gift cards lose the value after so long? Some of them expire after a certain amount of time, and some of them don't. You just have to check. It, it varies from gift card to gift card. That's why it's good to know when that when it expires so your money doesn't go to waste. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought they were supposed to take that the provision out of it, you know, like there's no expiry date. Mm -hmm. Because uh, some people, you know, didn't get to spend right away and then they, you know, there was a, their money just expires, yeah. Yeah, complaining going on. And then mm -hmm. I thought, you know, like maybe it doesn't apply to everyone, but uh, uh, people had to sort of keep it open. Yeah. Some mom is bad, trust me. What? Some mom do is bad, trust oh, me. Okay, okay. I'm in Canada. I, I was thinking of, and I live in Ontario. I was thinking of what I heard in Ontario. So I don't know how it applies to other places. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, uh, it uh, did happen in Canada. They did say, but that was a few years ago. They changed, like they did change it to that you could use. But before that, if they were expired, nobody would honor them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what they say. Get the American Express ones because they do not expire. But um, uh, some of them lose some of their value. The longer they're out, they lose value. Um, mm -hmm. Most people would just rather get cash, you know, because yeah. <laughs> they they keep track of cash. Those things can get lost or stolen. And then out of the uh, so even if it's uh, a, a young a younger person spending 